Ouais, 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 Yes, so if you don't like the video, leave a comment in the comment section. Like the video. Make could see if we can reach like 200 likes. Yes, me? But anyway, you guys jump right into my show in the five ways you can make money just by owning a car in Jamaica. So first up, we have rental. Yes, me? So you can use a car as a rental in Jamaica. The only thing you probably would need to do is put a truck up on the vehicle and advertise it to make people, make people know so you have a vehicle and you use it as a rental. You can use a personal vehicle as a rental, you just have to be a modern vehicle and reliable because people run AD work and Pro Box, Tidal, Latio we are not really high vehicle but yet still they are just reliable and they can get you from point A to point B so if you have a reliable vehicle or you have money you can just buy a vehicle to use it to make money then you could have do that you see me? the only thing you probably would need again would be like you have to put in like a tracker in it just for security but you say it's different from that you can use a vehicle to rent and now we have a list of couple of the pro them and a couple of the con them of using your car to rent Okay, so the first pro of using a car as a renter would be that it's quick and easy, it's relatively quick and easy. If you have a vehicle already and it's already nice and clean and reliable, you see me all the way after the other advertise that make it known to you, I have a vehicle for rent and rent, rent, rent. You see me put up on Facebook, put up on the clean and all of them things that make people know to you, you have a vehicle, you can use as a renter. Second pro of using a vehicle as a renter would be that you have make some extra money where you would otherwise have lost. You see me? Because a majority of time, you know, people vehicle end up not using 90% of the time. Because even now, while you're watching this video, your vehicle probably outside park, not making money, costing you money every time you drive it because you have to buy gas, you have to pay for license, insurance, fitness, and all of them things. So it end up cost money, but the, your vehicle as a rental, you end up gain money upon that. You see me? So it actually earn back money where you would otherwise do. So that's a number two on the pro list. You see me? And number three on the pro list would be flexible. So what we mean by flexible is that you get to choose when and when you want to rent a vehicle and who and who you want to rent it to. You understand? So if you want to choose like mature people for rent a vehicle to or you want to choose specific periods of time, maybe over the summer you want to camp put up for rental and so forth. You get to have that flexibility that you choose when and when you want to rent it or when and when you want and who and who you want to drive it you see me? so it's very flexible and you get to use your car majority of the time if you want to use your car for personal use you see me? so it's pretty flexible using your car as a renter but now we have to list some of the cons of using your vehicle as a renter ok so first kind of using your vehicle as a renter would be that no matter how much you try, no matter how much tracker you put in it there is a possibility that your vehicle can get stolen you see me? So people could still thief a vehicle no matter how much you put in or you try to make sure it's not get thief it could possibly get stolen you see me? so you would have to keep that in mind when you tell me a thing about for put your vehicle as a rental it could get stolen you see me? as any vehicle in other world it could get stolen you have a higher chance of it being stolen while it is as a rental than if I went you personally have it you see me? and the second kind of using a vehicle as a rental would be that it require more maintenance basically meaning say you would have to service your vehicle more often you have to change suspension parts and a lot of little stuff you have to do more often just because you use it as a renter you see? and third kind of using a vehicle as a renter would be that you have some damages that could happen to your vehicle could have, the person could have scratched your vehicle could have rubbed your vehicle could have make this narrow or some little interior trim break and then look at things so it have, have some little damages where have build up along the way of using it as a renter and now for the time you never see the damages until the person or whoever the rent is done gone already and them things so at the end of the day you have to have to just know that your vehicle has started to get cut down here you see me? so next up would be to put your vehicle on the road as a taxi you see me? you could have used a personal vehicle or again you could have used some money and buy a second vehicle just to put it on the road as a taxi if you were just at the to make money or fight you could put a, buy a vehicle and put it on the road as a taxi you see me? so now I'm going to list some of the pros of putting a vehicle on the road as a taxi ok so the first pro of using a vehicle as a taxi would be that you don't really require no whole heap of work from the owner of the vehicle you see? So if you own a vehicle you don't really require to do nothing much mean basically because then you don't like using a vehicle as a renter you have a monitor and keep in contact with the person who rented it 
You get me? As long as you do the proper paperwork, you get the car in your red kit and rare, rare, rare. Do the whole like paperwork then. You won't have to do nothing much. You just have to give the, the driver the car and then the person would have pay you. And number two on the police would be that it's very, very profitable. You see me? And from using a vehicle as a taxi, all you have to do is set the price of where you want a day for your vehicle. Most people use it 3000 per day because I know somebody will personally I drive for somebody and that 3000 per day they have to pay. You see me? And the person would pay to use your car. You see me? Be that it's profitable. It's very profitable because as I said before, a three thousand dollar per day usually is for a taxi vehicle. So if you have a vehicle and you put it on the road, the person who drives your vehicle tend to have to pay about roughly three thousand dollar per day or more in some cases. Because if you have a service data farm, I think it's about five thousand or four or five. I'm not sure, but me always put it on the lower balance about three thousand per day, which roughly estimates to about eighteen thousand per week. You see me? And then seventy two thousand per month, you see me? So it's very profitable and then you only have to do nothing because as long as the person has the vehicle, all you have to do is call it, basically, you see me? So that's what I would say would be the two main pros of using a vehicle as a taxi, putting it on the road as a taxi, you see me? You don't really require no whole power from the owner of the vehicle and then now, it's very profitable, you see me? So now I have a list couple of the cons of using a vehicle as a taxi. Okay, so these are the cons of putting a vehicle on the road as a taxi. Okay, so first can me that say yo, it's a whole heap of paperwork. You have to go through the transport authority, you have to go do insurance, license, all of them things there. And all it more because they are cost whole heap more paperwork when it comes down to putting a vehicle on the road as a taxi. And then now it's about if you not have PPV, not if you can drive your own vehicle. See? So if you put it on the road as a taxi, it uh, cost whole heap of paperwork. You see me? And the next kind of using a vehicle on the road as a taxi with me that say would have be it that requires some seed money. You see me seed money with me that call money where you have to spend to start make back money. So you have to pay for insurance because the insurance rate for your taxi vehicle is very high in the world. If it's comprehensive, you know, it's very high, you know. You see me? And then you have to pay for the for the road license and then you have to pay for pay transport authority. You have to pay for paperwork and a whole heap of fees along the way. You see me? So a whole heap of paperwork. And you're gonna need a, some seed money if you want to take a road vehicle on the road as a taxi. You see me? Next up, speaking of paperwork, you have to keep your vehicle completely up to date. So you have to monitor the vehicle paperwork, basically. You as the owner. As what I'm saying, no, you don't require no whole paperwork from the owner, but it require you have to keep in track of all of the paperwork. Because if you don't remember, you don't check. The paperwork basically fitness license and rare, rare, rare. transport authority quick to seize the vehicle and once them seize it brother it'll cost a whole lot more money you see me so that that be another can for the list you know. monitor monitoring of paperwork you, know. you see me and the next panel list you know, that say would be the car still can get stolen because people still keep taxi car all car is liable to be stolen but it would be more likely to be stolen while it are used as taxi or rental or one of them things that so that will be the fourth one on the list, you, know. you see me? And fifth on the cans list now, this is a fifth on the cans list, you, know. you see me? The vehicle can get damaged at any time, it can get damaged, people can leave the car, the car can get rubbed, the car just get damaged at any time, you see me? While it has used on the road as taxi, because you don't know the Jamaican has said you're the taxi on the road, so the people on the road, you see me? But at the end of the day, they're more likely to be in an accident or scratch or rub or this way. The vehicle will get damaged. You see me? Regardless, so it's it liable to get damage at any time. You can't plan for the damage, man. For the damages where it might happen to the vehicle. It, will, it can get damage at any time. You see me? So that's number five on the list. And then number six would be it will require far more maintenance than even if you did have it on the road as a rental. You see me? It means like far more maintenance. So you have to maintain the car like a, a every two months or every three months. You see me? Because the car works very hard now every day up and down. If you want the car for the last time, you have to maintain it very often. You see me? So that would be the fifth, the sixth thing on the list. You see me? The third way you can make money in Jamaica just by owning a vehicle would be to buy and sell vehicles. So this doesn't really require you owning the vehicle at this time. Now. This requires you just have the money to own a vehicle. You see me? So, this one is basically when you buy a vehicle for cheap and then you sell them back for profit. You see me? So, if you subscribe to that channel, you have to say, yo, a whole heap of cheap car, the audio, you know, my mate, a whole heap of cheap car, car yourself a far lower than where them value out the day. So, if you can find a couple of car with cheap, you see me? 
and then buy them and then put on like a hundred thousand or hundred and fifty thousand and sell it back same time you make a profit me i show you a couple of examples of this if you're subscribed to the channel you'll remember me posting a video about cheap bmws in jamaica in that video you would see one bmw 2009 328i that was selling for 900 000 right remember 900 000 but then we see it sold and then immediately after it being sold we see it re-emerge back on the market for sale for 1.5 you see me? So the person put on 600,000 upon it, you know, brother. You see me? And I sell it back without doing no work on it, just buying the vehicle and selling. Just because the vehicle was selling for a cheaper price than its value, that he knows so you can sell it and make a money on it. You see me? And also, look at this one right here. At this one, this is a 2005 BMW 120i. This BMW was selling for 430,000 and it was also negotiable. You see me? I'm going to contact the person about this one and the person you for come meet them tomorrow. But before we could reach there somebody else bought it but then we see the same exact vehicle re-emerged for a sale but for far more money we started to sell for 800,000 and then recently the same person was where i sell it dropped the price to 720 because the ac pan stopped working the vehicle my vehicle from all of this channel i will show number four people just buy them for cheap you see me and then i resell them back to make a profit you see me so without any further ado we could just come start and continue I do my others tell no one who probably would need it for no other buy and sell vehicle. The first one would be knowledge of vehicle. Somebody that say you yeah, need to know how a vehicle value. You see me say you can't see all that vehicle I sell for 500000 I say yo, I'm going to buy that vehicle for 500000 and put 250 on it and sell it back because at the end of the day if the vehicle is valued at 500000 and you buy it for 500000 you have to try to sell it back for 700000 It never sell. You see me? So you have to know the value of vehicle and know say yo a vehicle value for 500,000 but you see it itself for 250 or so so you can just buy it and put on two bills for it and sell it for 450 and then make a profit right there you have to know the value of the vehicle you see me the second thing you probably would need is a place to store vehicle so if you see all that cheap vehicle and you buy it where you have to put it because some people don't have the yard space like that could have just store a vehicle in the yard you see me so where you have to put it you need storage space you need somewhere for place the vehicle you see me so now list the pros and the cons. First pro would be that it's very very profitable. You see me? Cause you make whole heap of money one time. So if you buy a lot of vehicle, you could have buy a vehicle today. Me seen it before people buy a vehicle today. And then put it up back for sale tomorrow. And then it's sale. You see them tomorrow. You see me? So they make all 200,000 or 150 in a one day basically. You see me? So it's very profitable and the profit is huge because you make 200,000 in a one day. In a one day, you see me? That faster than to make for have your vehicle on the road or to use rental, so it's very profitable, you know. You see me? The profit them can get huge because any amount of money you can make off our vehicle and you make it then, yeah, make profit by far. You see me? So, so the second proof on this would be that you don't really require no major work. Basically, what I thought was that you don't really have to do nothing much, you have to just buy the vehicle and then resell it. Buy the vehicle, you see, you don't really have to leave for no engine, you know, fixing, you don't have to do nothing. Basically, you have to do maintenance for it, you just have to buy it and sell it. So it's very profitable and you know, you require no major work. You see me? But I list the cons them now. The first con me that say you would have be, you could get stuck with a vehicle. What I mean by that is that with all the proper knowledge, you are, even when you have the proper knowledge of the value of the vehicle, you, know, you could just make a mistake or you just could just be bad luck when you buy all a vehicle. You see me? And then you yeah, try to sell it back for the profit, but you can't get it sell because you know maybe that vehicle is not really in demand vehicle and that vehicle and a vehicle that people are really interested in. So you get stuck with the vehicle, you see me? And you try to sell it back for what you buy it for and then you can't even get that. So you could get stuck with that vehicle and you don't know how you end up lose. So this one would have been more of a gambling thing still, but but it better when you know the value of the vehicle and you know what is in demand and what's selling and what is at before you yeah, make any serious investment so the second kind of list would have been just like come tell you you could have make money tomorrow you see me you could have make money make the money back all uh, next year you see me so you could have buy all the vehicle and it take a long to sell it did sell it you know? but sometimes it take a long to sell it you see me so that is another kind of and all the time you get it fast here yeah? yeah? sometimes you just have to wait and sometimes it will take a long you see me so you know how you see your money back fast you see me? So that's another kind of analysis. 
yeah so if you like this video leave a comment in the comment section also subscribe to the channel and if you reach 200 likes then we'll post a part 2